Hey guys, this is Scott the Gastric Tiger here with my week 154 update. How you guys doing? I uh, hope you guys had a great week. Uh, my week was okay. Um, uh, it had its ups and downs. Um, but uh, before we get to that, I'd like to just go ahead and uh, give you my numbers again. Um, I had a high weight of 380 pounds. Uh, day of surgery, I was 342. Um, I had surgery on October 28th, 2013 with Dr. Della Torre through Missouri Bariatric Services here in Columbia, Missouri. I reached goal in November of 2014 with a weight of uh, 218. Last week, I came to you at 272. And this week when I weighed in, I was 275. So that's a three pound gain from last week. Um, not super psyched about that, but um, part of it was my fault and part of it wasn't. And uh, so we'll talk about that now. So what happened last week? All right. Uh, we got back from the bleachers on Monday. And um, Tuesday I was gung-ho. I got to the gym, and I was just feeling awesome. And then on Wednesday, I went to work, and about halfway through the day, I just started to feel like crap. And, um, Jen, I don't think it has anything to do with with uh, with the boys passing me an illness, um, but because uh, it was something completely different than what they had. Um, but anyway... I had to stay till th late that night anyway, so I think I went home about 9 o'clock. I would have gone to home like at noon if I didn't have the stuff at work I had to stick around and do. So um, I came home and I just, I felt so hot and I, I just couldn't cool down. Um, and uh, so I slept downstairs so I didn't pass it on to Bridget. And I woke up the next morning and I was still just feeling like crap. So I stayed home um, last Thursday, and uh, of course, when I'm home and I'm feeling sick, um, I make really crappy decisions when it comes to my food, and so um, pretty much I rationalize it as anything going into my system was coming right back out anyway, so um, I eat just whatever I wanted. Um, and uh, by Thursday evening, I was feeling quite a bit better. And so I went to work on Friday. And uh, I was planning on staying home this last weekend. But um, on Friday evening, uh, as Bridget and I were doing a little bit of grocery shopping, trying to do some food planning for the week, um, my uncle gave me a call and said, Hey! I'm going fly fishing down at Bennett Springs this weekend. Uh, you want to join me? And I said, well, of course I do. So um, I came straight home and threw all my junk in my car, and I was down to Bennett Springs by that evening. And I had a blast this weekend. Uh, um, I don't get to see my Uncle Greg very often. He lives up in Iowa, and... Um, we just don't cross paths too often, but it's always fun when I get to go fishing with him, and we really just got a good chance to catch up and, um, uh, part of why I probably was a little overweight on Monday was I was definitely dehydrated after the weekend because, um, uh, I just had a good time sitting around having a few beers with him this weekend more than a few on uh, on Saturday um, uh, watching the Missouri Tigers game and uh, but anyway it was a blast it was wonderful and then on uh, Sunday morning woke up and uh, fished the whistle um, which means that you know the, the very beginning of the fishing day and um, caught a crap ton of fish in just a short amount of time oh it was a blast I'm going to post a video that I took of that. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Uh, but it was it was just a ton of fun. And 
being able to fish with him, um, I, like I said, I just don't get to do that very often. And it was just a lot of fun. Um, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, to do that again sometime soon. Um, one funny thing that happened, uh, uh, is, um, we accidentally drove off with our, with our rods on top of, uh, of, uh, the car. And, uh, we didn't realize until we got to our camp ground again. And, uh, we rushed right back and, uh, Luckily, someone had turned in my uncle's rod, which is good because he has, like, way better equipment than I do. So, um, and, uh, so mine was just, like, a, you know, a cheapo $20 rod outfit. Um, he felt like crap that he lost it, uh, but, um, I was not bothered at all. And, uh, cause it kind of just gives me a chance to go out and, uh, and, and shop for a new toy. Anyway, that was, um, that was my weekend and my week last week. So, um, you know, uh, I didn't get into the gym that much. I really didn't get a whole lot of physical activity other than last Tuesday. Um, and, uh, my food choices were off and I had alcohol. So... It's not surprising at all that I was up three pounds this week, but, you know, um, every meal is a chance to make a new good decision, and, uh, you know, every day is another chance to, um, to live healthily, so, um, that's gonna be my focus this week. Um, I got to the gym last night, and I'm sitting right outside of the gym tonight. I'm gonna get that done. I've made good food decisions uh, yesterday and today, um, and I'm planning on continuing that this week. Um, been really trying to get my water in since I know I was so dehydrated after the weekend, because um, when I travel, I don't drink enough water, and lots of times, you know, uh, I, I have some alcohol when I'm traveling also, so... Um, Anyway, uh, I think that's it for this week. Like I said, look forward to that uh, fishing video. And I actually have another video brewing that you're probably going to see later this week. Um, I've been thinking about it for a long time. And hopefully it'll be useful to, um, to both uh, newer people and people who have been around for a while. Um, but anyway, uh, stay tuned for a couple more videos. And uh, remember have the courage to get out there and be the new you this week. All right. Thanks. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.